looks so... No, the shirt's so wrinkled and it is freshly washed. It's just I left it in the basket for a couple days. I can adult so well. Hello everyone and welcome to day 22 of Vita per April 22nd, 2017. My name of course is Artemich. First off, I want to say a happy birthday to Kenyon Wheeler. Not sure if he's watching these videos, but just in case. Hope it was a good one, dude, and I say it was because it's nearly 10.30, meaning this won't be up until probably after 11. So, today I had some plans change because woke up with a headache, stalled my day out, and just didn't feel like going certain places. So, I wound up going to Dreamers Cosplay and Games, which you can find here. They're located physically, however, at the Center on Barton, which used to be Center Mall, and it's basically a cosplay supply and workshop store. Mostly supply store, not so much workshop, though they will be doing workshops soon. And they also carry board games and some RPG products, so go have a look there. Now, it's run by my friend Sarah, and oftentimes her boyfriend Dylan is there too, and when they're not dealing with customers, which is a little more than they'd like, simply because they only opened a few weeks ago, and they're getting their footing, uh, they are often working on their own cosplays. And they're each working on doing their cosplays in new ways. For example, Dylan, uh, some time ago, did this here. This Zora Link cosplay was entirely hand-sewn. And uh, recently he's been trying his hand at a sewing machine, and apparently he gets major anxiety about the idea because he's not directly controlling the needle. He's got to get into his head that all he has to worry about is the direction of his stitch. Sarah has recently started working with an airbrush to provide some coloring with a gradient on these very large, very lovely feathers made out of felt. Now, each of them are having their struggles. Uh, Dylan tried working on a glove uh, last time I was there, which he made too small. Sarah has ne needs to learn how to thin out her paints, because uh, I took over for her today for a brief few moments, uh, working on the gradient, and the reservoir ran out fairly quickly. And I look in there, and there's still all this paint adhered to the wall of the cup, meaning that her paints are way too thick. And it just comes down to they're working on learning new skills and they need to figure out in the process. I mean, Dylan's going slow enough with the sewing machine that he may as well be hand sewing and he's recognizing that and so he's getting it into his head that he has to let the machine do its work. He can't worry about where the needle's going, that's not the important part, it's where the fabric is going into the needle. Sarah needs to just figure out the appropriate flow amount, how to keep her paints at good levels. I mean, bless her, she got the idea of thinning the paints pretty handily once I said something, but took it right, took some water right from a water bottle, poured it into her cup, and just spilled all over her hands, right down her arm. And it was amusing, and it's one of those pitfalls of learning something new. And she's not giving up, neither is Dylan, and that's awesome for them. They're not letting these downfalls discourage them. I mean, yeah, Dylan didn't finish his glove himself. Sarah did it because he went and ran errands for her, and it took her 10 minutes of work compared to his hour of running errands. And Sarah is grumping about portions of her airbrush because it's a siphon feed that's supposed to be bottom fed, but she has a cup that adapts to be a side feed. And that's made things slow down a bit because she needs to keep filling it and it can't hold as much as I think, a normal bottle would. So that's more a matter of just supplies. But they're keeping at it, they're getting it figured out, and they're noticing that this is making a difference. This is going to be something that changes the way I do things. And so stepping outside your com comfort zone, in the long run, like absolutely I can understand you're going to sit there and look at this new concept of a way of doing things and be like, it happens with pretty much anyone looking into something new, but it comes down to, is what you're getting back from it worth the extra effort to get into it? Well, my animals are making the rest of this recording difficult, so I'm going to end it here. Hope everyone has themselves a great night, and I will talk to you tomorrow.